So that's sort of the first step, right, is to identify what is the right role. Um, you know, as it relates to, to VAs or the Philippines and let's just bucket in like emerging world talent, um, you know, there are limitations, you know, and I say this with the utmost respect and I say this as someone who leverages the Philippines, uh, I would say, better than most people Definitely that I know, but I, I would say I, I'd be in a, in, in a pretty solid bracket here. In order for you to get the most out of talent in these emerging worlds, you have to remember a few things. I think the first thing is in a lot of cases, uh, this will be the first, you know, uh, the first family member that's likely had a higher education. So the generation before were, you know, working really hard to actually put their kids through college for the first time. Um, you know, sometimes this might be the second generation, but in a lot of cases, the first generation, just looking at the Philippines for a second, population's 120 million people. Uh, of the So it's a third the size of the US. Um, the US produces 2 million college graduates a year. The Philippines, 600,000. So it's almost one-to-one -one from a ratios perspective producing, and it's continuing to close the gap. So uh, what's more is Filipinos you know, the educational institutions are all in English. So they're actually learning English and being tested in English and inside of the remote work space, 95% are college educated. You see Filipinos having really good English skills, but coming back to it, where they have good English skills, they haven't had the same number of years or generational educational experiences where they have, you know, the, the high level management ability and strategic uh, directive that, you know, someone in, you know, who's very fortunate growing up in a first world Western country, I grew up in Australia, I was afforded certain privileges that, you know, a, a lot of us or most of you listening to the podcast probably aren't too dissimilar to the, you know, to the very fortunate things that, that, that I've also been uh, privy to. So, so coming back to it, up to about a middle management level or layer is likely where you're going to get to. So, you know, I'll have team members that can definitely direct traffic and, and work through the projects, but it's, it's rare that they're actually coming with the strategic guidance and saying, this is the new product that you should be um, creating and mm -hmm. sort of without any sort of hands-on guidance or SOPs or any sort of clarity around that. So just understanding sort of those limitations I think is really important. But coming back to it, if you gear these things right, you know, depending on where you sit, if you're a solopreneur and you're building a team of three, four, five, six, even 10, um, you can manage that as long as you're giving the right guidance, the right briefings, the right insights, you can build a really powerful team from you know, everything from Amazon brand managers to PPC managers to designers, keyword researchers, even product researchers. If you're building the criteria where you give them the parameters, then they will do fantastic work.